A deadly weekend on the roads in the city. Police reporting at least six serious traffic incidents with four people losing their lives, including a child. Thanks so much for joining us for the Pixel of News at 6. I'm Tamson Fidel. I'm Corey Chambers. Each of the past three days, someone has died in a traffic incident in the city. Two Friday evening, one on Saturday, another on Sunday. That last incident, a hit and run in uh, the more senior section of the Bronx. Yeah, Pixel 11 James Ford is live there tonight with more on all these tragedies and the resulting calls for action now. Hi, James. And the last death that you mentioned took place right here because of those rising numbers. It's got many activists saying the city needs to do more to protect people's safety on the streets. Workers lit candles under the photo of Felix Thomas Bontilla on Monday. The 47-year-old father died Sunday morning when an SUV slammed into him at a high speed, according to police, while he was drying off a car as it exited the round-the-clock car wash where he was working shortly before 5.30 a.m. He didn't have even a split second to get out of the way, according to his manager, who, like everyone here, would not talk on camera. Two women who were in the SUV that hit and killed Bontilla fled the scene, according to police, who are searching for them now. Speaking out. Cameras are always great, but we also need to work with the Department of Transportation on making sure that our streets are safe. Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson was on the PIX11 Morning News not only talking about the tragic hit-and-run death that happened here in her borough on Sunday morning, but about it and three other deaths of people on the street struck and killed by vehicles since Friday evening. That's when a seven-year-old girl was fatally struck in Astoria. Oh no! And hours later, a 52-year-old home health aide was struck and killed by an NYPD vehicle involved in an accident while responding to a call in Far Rockaway, Queens. Then on Saturday, a 50-year-old was hit by an SUV at Ditmas Avenue in Brooklyn. In those three cases, the drivers responsible stayed at the scene. In this latest case, the search for the driver is still underway as friends and family of Felix Thomas Bontilla do the same as the loved ones of the other victims. They mourn as they prepare for funerals. Changes designed to make streets safer are part of the city's Vision Zero initiative, but some traffic safety activists say the city has fallen behind on those. Quote, to get Vision Zero back on track, we need to roll out street redesigns much more quickly across the five boroughs, said the co-founder of Families for Safe Streets. Meanwhile, the city's Department of Transportation points out that last year, traffic fatalities declined for the first time in three years. Also last week, the city council held a hearing about Vision Zero, and it was pointed out that seven different measures are proposed for this year to help make streets safer. But some safer streets activists say even more than that needs to be done to prevent more of what happened here yesterday. Reporting live from the Morrisania section of the Bronx, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News. All right, James.